What's going on, legends? I'm Jimmy, and this is the Gym Boss Podcast. As always, everything gym, marketing, sales, anything that you need to be able to grow your gym and fitness business. And anytime during this video, if you feel like, hey, I want to know more about what this Jimmy guy is talking about, and I want him to do my ads for me, go on over to IWantGymLeads.com, and you can go over and see I've got a short video that I've recorded for you over there. But this is... The man ate a hundred and twenty thousand dollar banana. So I don't know if you saw in the news just uh, just recently, like a day or two ago, but this Italian artist, some bloke, had literally at some art festival got a banana, it duct taped it to a wall, and called it art. But then get this, some idiot, not just one, but three idiots bought it for a hundred and twenty thousand dollars. So there was three of them. There were limited editions. So if one, uh, at least one of them went for 120 grand. Mind blowing! For a banana stuck on the wall. Now, why am I even telling you this? We get this though. One of, before I go into how this applies to your gym, this uh, this guy, a rival artist, went up, took it off the wall, and just ate it in front of everybody. I don't know about you, but that's the ultimate like big f you. But <laughs> if that's what it was, but um. Why? Why am I even talking about this? Well, good question. To follow up from yesterday's video, yesterday's podcast, depending on where you're watching or listening to this, um, I spoke about semi-private personal training and about how it's premium. And there's a limiting belief that a lot of people have is like they don't know if they're worth, well, the service that they provide is going to be worth $100, $125, or $150 per week to be able to charge it out to a person. Some people just don't feel comfortable with that. And I just wanted to bring to, imagine this, you're helping them improve their life, you're giving them healthier lifestyle, happier, they sleep better, they feel better, they've got more years on the planet to be with their children, their, their husbands, wives, and see their grandkids grow up, see, have more years on the planet with them, and they have confidence in themselves. All these extra benefits that they're going to get. Maybe help them with an injury or whatever, right? So you're giving them quality of life. It's literally no downside to personal training, to semi-private personal training. They're just going to become better people by the end of it all around. Like be better, better um, examples for their, for their kids, you know, to lead a healthier lifestyle and so on, right? So all the benefits are there. Do you think that's worth 100 bucks a week or $150 a week? A guy just bought a banana for 120 grand. And you're worried about being able to charge 100 bucks a week. There's some perspective shifts that need to change. It's not the market. The market pays it. I've seen it happen across all the globe. I've seen it in Canada. I've seen it in Australia. I've seen it in New Zealand. I've seen it in the States, just to name a few, of where people are paying those prices, 400 600 bucks a month. I know a guy that charges $1,500 a month. For semi-private personal training, now, he's specialized. He's a just different case. So I don't think everybody should, but people pay it. And you've got to be, ask yourself, do I want to be the premium? Well, I'm getting all shaky here. I'm getting all fired up. Do you want to be the premium or do you want to be the cheapo? Now, there's only a race to the bottom and the biggest guy with the deepest pockets, meaning the big gyms, the big change, chains, they're the ones that can profit from having the cheap things because they can literally leverage marketing at a loss to then hopefully one day be able to accrue a bit of a profit on the back end. But we're small businesses here. We want to be profitable from day one and we want to be able to be the premium uh, offering within your local area. So I really urge you to consider implementing semi-private personal training into your business. And if you don't know how to do that, so if you want to implement that into your already existing group training gym and then have it as a second offering, as a premium offering, um, or you want to start a completely different business as a semi-private personal training business in its own separate studio or whatever, go on over to IWantGymLeads.com. You can go over there. There's a place where you can fill in an application form where you jump on the phone with me for 30 minutes and I can help you with a custom plan of how you can implement this into your own business, free of charge. You can go over there. You can check out the video. I'll talk about it over there. Um, and that's literally IWantGymLeads.com. Go over there and fill out the application form. So I'm just going to leave you with that. That's the thought of the day. If a guy can buy a, a guy can sell a banana masking tape to the wall, not one, but three of them, all 100 grand a pop for each one, you can definitely provide the value and the service to somebody to improve their lives, 
completely change their lives through health and fitness for 100 bucks a week, $150 a week. I just want you to think about that. Anyways, this is Jimmy. Peace. Remember, I want gymleads.com. Go over there, schedule the time to speak, and I'll chat to you soon. Bye.